Hey folks, I'm Philippi and welcome back to Stellaris. We are the Imperial and Bahamuti Technocracy and we have a puzzling polygon to deal with. So our science ship's crew has recovered a reflective polygonal object, bringing it on board for detailed study. The object's most intriguing quality is its ability to reflect most types of low frequency energy beams directed towards it. High frequency energy beams, however, remain unaffected making the object's properties useless with regards to any potential fleet defense applications. Despite extensive examination, our research team has been unable to determine the function or origin of this peculiar polygon. It appears to be hollow, but the metalloid surface is engraved with some kind of scientific notation. Though the full meaning of this codified data eludes us, um, our scientists believe that it relates to wormhole metrics. Our research team was able to glean some fascinating insight into wormhole theory by studying these notations. Whatever purpose the object was created for, however, is still a mystery. Oh, will give us some research. System scan complete. So we will be heading into the Hellgate as soon as all of these upgrades are done. What's going on over here? Impossible glass. Our initial attempts to break through the floor were unsuccessful. This composition is unlike any known transparent material we have on record. Blood force will not deform or blemish the surface. However, with a considerable amount of effort, we succeeded in creating a small hole through one of the conduits with a plasma drill. Flowing through the circuitry is a highly concentrated mixture of tightly woven astral fabric. As interesting as discovery is, it does not seem to practical to carve our own passageway through the floor. We return to exploring a more traditional manner. A desiccan raid on screen. I have many enemies, Demok. They have decided to pay them to come for us. Where are they? Hold on, pause. Where are these desiccants? They're here? Somewhere? I guess we'll deal with the raid when it comes, but I'm not particularly worried about it. Kind of at a point in this game where um, there is nothing to be worried about. One of our commanders is done. Uh, Dread, are you in charge? Yeah, you're the army commander. Dread would be good. Dread is excellent. Uh, you can still be upgraded, and we will. This I don't need anything for... No. It's this toxic terraforming candidate. Don't care. Where are you? What is this? This is the Tempest. It's over there. Uh, where is my empire? Here we are. I'll come snag this system in a minute. The terminal. We have finally found a variation in our surroundings. A large chamber filled with screens controlled by a central terminal. One of the screens is a map of the surrounding corridors. An alert was logged in the vicinity of our recent drilling through the floor, including video surveillance of ourselves in the act. We can, if we could figure out the console controls, we could learn more about this place. However, if unknown, what security measures might be present in the code? We'll hack it. System chartered. Hostile fleet within range. What's this? Where are you? You're here. You're coming to attack me. Which means you're probably coming through... Uh, not the L gate. I did find another L gate. It is down here. Wait. Targeting practice. Our sensors discovered the ship remains on Z9PN. 98 
and got there in a peculiar way. The ship seemed to have been intentionally driven straight into the asteroid, probably from light years away, to test the accuracy of the ship's thrusters. As we deep scan the remains, we pick through the ship's uh, in particular, which seemed to have no, seemed to have been reasonably intact propulsion. Cover that thruster, or not waste the alloys. I'd rather the science. Where are you heading? System surveyed. Here, are you gonna go through the L gate and then get blown up? Because that would be hilarious. Incoming transmission. And there, I need. Still working through our upgrades. Yep, the Raiders got totally destroyed by the Great Tempest. System scan complete. So I'm not worried. Council agenda available. Uh, this is done. What did we get? The Mega Cannon. That's much better. Uh, battleship hull points would be very good. Fire Seismic District. Let's get this one. Construction templates. That helps with science. And uh, Unity Production. Or not Unity Production, but the cost of things I want to buy with Unity. It's a better way to put it. Alright. Who's upgrading now? You are. Fleet upgraded. You're done. You're done done. As are you. You're not. I don't have a leader here. So hire one more. Who will it be? Army stuff. Ship fire rate sounds good. Let's do you. And we will give you... Aggressive. Engineer. Admiral. Wrecker. Artillerist. There you go. These should mostly be done. Let's get you finished. Oh, wait. Yeah. Before I do that, let's cancel that. I need to go to fleets, ship designer, Titan. Oh, I don't have, it's just a partition beam. Is it the battleship that has something different? It is, I could put the X weapon on the battleships. Uh, I'd rather them be carriers, so I'm not gonna bother with that. We'll just do this last upgrade here, and then I think we're ready to go. It's not too much left. Salon Eridani is done building the habitat, so let's build another major thing. Major orbital right there. Uh, you're here in Abzu. I would love for you to build me the art installation, maybe. Can't build this because one at a time. Gotcha. Uh, arc furnace can go up again. Let's do that. This science thing is about half done. All right, back to here. We'll pop through the gate in a minute. You can see the power of my golden soufflet just climbing rapidly as it upgrades. I think that's because we switched to the level 3 disruptors. Leveled up. One of our commanders. Uh, sure, carrier focus is fine. System scan complete. I believe corvettes are the, um, the best ship for... System surveyed. ...taking on the uh, Great Tempest. The Astro Creator was able to comp compile the code. The programming language itself is highly advanced and the algorithms have an elegant simplicity. The entire structure has been 
procedurally generated. Though we have not fully deciphered patterns, it is very clear the set of rules of this environment is f uh, following. We are taken back samples of the building materials which have shown uh, the process some unique self-replicating properties. Further testing is required, however, but we theorize that placing this material in a location and applying the correct instructions will generate an entirely new system of similar corridors. Fascinating. So we get procedural space modifier added, giving me plus one building slot. Max corporate buildings and branch offices plus one. And ends this. New Name. technology discovered. Construction template is done. Um, let's get housing. Fleet upgraded. Good. It's three upgraded. I think what I'll do is I'll move you three here. Fleet upgrades. Along with you to grab the system for me. Anomaly detected. Of course you can. One of my officials. Uh, none of these really matter. You get reformer, I suppose. System surveyed. What is in the system? Not much. Are you guys actually all that hurt? Just a little bit. Not very much, though. New technology discovered. Please come here and build that star base. These two are also done. I'll have them come in. Fleet upgrades applied. That looks like they're all done. I'll have you all come in. Although I'll keep Ahab here at the capital. It's uh, their single shot weapons. And from their Titan cannons, or whatever they're called in their systems. And so I, I can't, uh, he'll just get eliminated if he gets uh, shot. New technology discovered. Uh, the new tech is more city housing. Now let's grab this because it's so fast. And this was what? The interstellar assembly. Don't need the command limit. What's the justice complex do? That's a judicial complex seemingly intertwines courts and law enforcement. Interesting. Might get that? Might get the xenomorph army too. Yeah, let's get Xenomorph. System scan complete. Construction online. Perfect. Alright, let's take the fleet and let's head to Entropy's Maw. Right here. Incoming transmission. Well, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, back here. Okay, yeah, terminal egress is where I wanted to go, not Entropy's Maw. Hostile fleet within range. Alright, let's go travel through here. Engaging hostile fleets. Perfect, let's go. New technology discovered. Boom, 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 boom. What's the tech we got? Mining. Battleship. Ooh, mechanical points. Perfect. We'll do that. There we go. Everybody come over here. Let's uh, do this for everyone. All their ships back. Perfect. Let's grab that uh, thing. We'll come in here and we will build the starbase. New technology discovered. And do I have a science ship sitting around? Do that's the wrong one. Let's bring you in here. You've done a bunch of stuff. 
I'm not too worried about the Great Tempest, considering we've now beat them back from one spot. Evading hostiles. Not too worried, because they'll just come in here and die. Then my fleets will need to be upgraded again. Anybody else need a little upgrade? You do. Or not an upgrade, but a, a retrofit, a refit for lost ships. Perfect. We'll just sit here for a while like this, doing that back and forth. It's the Dark Matter Reactor. Get the Synaptic Resonator. Um, here, please, to build the Starbase, and I don't want you to run. System surveyed. Sure, you can do that. Let's see if we can get our toll hold here. Nefri's Pride. The armed vessel discovered in orbit of 14SXI2 is an abandoned military spacecraft called Nefri's Pride. Its light frame and evasion hardware suggest it was built for long-distance patrol missions, but has since been retrofitted into a long-range stealth bomber. Records of the ship's comm reveal that it was hijacked by a rebel guerrilla on its way to perform a strike against a secret complex called the Javan Labs, said to hold a weapon so powerful it could win the war. When they were shot down, we have extracted the ship's destination from our navigational computers. Send a science tree to the lab, or there's no need for such a weapon. Well, we'll do this, but I don't think we can do it. Maybe? Oh, maybe. Let's see, that's mouse. Okay, let's grab um, you. Now, if you come over here and do that. Then we'll head back over to here. I am going to claim this space shortly. <laughs> the Tianqi home system scour. The last of the Tianqi and the Tianqi Vex system have been exterminated by the Great Tempest. With their ancient breeding ground secured, scoured, the Tianqi will no longer be able to reproduce for the first time in galactic history. Their path to eventual extinction seems unavoidable now. Well, that's unfortunate. Engaging hostile fleets. Incoming transmission. <laughs> Build that starbase. Discovered. Nice having all these resources because I can just hit this button. There you go. It's like our Corvette fleet Systems really took a beating. Uh, something finished here. Xenomorphs. Excellent. Let's get the Unity bonus. That's a 300. Ancient and Driller drones. Interesting. The synaptic sustainer. Incoming transmission. It has something to do with our online. Thing. Good, this is done. Upgrade. The system is ours. Well, it looks like they fixed the uh, the bug here. There used to be a bug where they, you wouldn't gain the space as your color. In the L gate, it looks like they may have fixed that finally. So we continue to repair and sit here. There's the end of the Reavers. New technology discovered. Another fleet coming in, no problem. Let's get black artillery, I think. Let's get identity fusion. That sounds like in our mindset here. Engaging hostile fleets. Alert. 
alert. Space brawl life form encountered. I will continue to build ships here. Perfect. You're back here on Abzu. System charted. Look, the Sclariums are leveling up. We got lots of ships coming in. Definitely spend on that. What if we did the um I'm not going to do that fleet. I was going to do the fleet for the ancient, get the Fallen Empire fleet, but I think I'll just leave it. System charted. Wait for this to be done. You never invisible death. One of our scientists have returned from the Zavon Labs unscathed with footage collected by the facility security cameras. It shows the lab scientists bound and gagged as guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapons strong bosses. Uh, but to, to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, the rebels the rebels could be seen. Uh, writhing on the floor in intense agony, dark patches swelling across their bodies, and their skin rips and gray, unidentified matter spills out. The matter continues to expand, swirling hypnotically around around them until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. Springchillers douse the room with liquid, and an electrical surge passes through it, uh, executing all living things. Here the footage ends. Our crew can confirm that the storage box was indeed empty. Okay. Uh, you leveled up again. Venture Spirit, maybe? Yeah, why not? And the um, base station here, almost ready to go. It's like I start building ships here. Uh, no, I don't have time for that. Then uh, that's what we'll do. Perfect. So let's get. Uh, let's get. Okay, I need this. So we'll do shipyard, fleet academy, shipyard upgrade. Our fleets are returning to form. System surveyed. I want an Abzu here. It could probably come over here now. Yes, we like to purchase the service. What else do you have to offer? Nothing really there that I need. This is a terraforming Canada discovered. Okay. Maybe we'll. Style fleet within range. Ooh, I got a big fleet here. How many? Two? Three fleets. Ooh, nasty. Hopefully we can win. System charted. Really hurt them. Again, we did defeat them. I think we took a whole lot of damage. Uh, the Science Nexus Central Hub is now in place. Equipped with the state of the art singularity reactor, our engineers are preparing to add the next more most challenging seg segment to the facility the four research wings. They will be fitted with pioneering technology able to withstand everything from violent heat to intense pressure waves and alien pathogens. They will also provide housing for our many researchers. They've come a long way. Absolutely. Science Nexus, level up. What did we research here? The Synaptic Resonator. 
Uh, gateway construction, maybe. Tempting, maybe not yet. Let's get fire control. We'll get it off the map. Let's go back to our ships. Uh, you're okay, right? Oh, I'm lacking dark matter production. Hmm. Can I buy that? That's the wrong button. Can I buy this? Oh yeah, I can. So let's just do this. You know, boom. 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 Because it's not like I don't have the money. Boom. 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 And boom. Okay, good. You all can repair at the Central Space Station. New technology discovered. New technology discovered. There we go. Interesting there's no debris. There's the synaptic identities, and what's this one? What was that? The enhanced fire control. Okay, let's get the neutron launchers and the uh, battleship hull points. Uh, you've leveled up. More amenities, more refining. Let's get refining. How's my scanning coming along? We're getting there. Once these fleets are rebuilt, I'll probably venture out and poke around in some other systems and start claiming the space. The cradle of Life. Four gas giants enshrouded the vast plasma field to create a orbit around the Tianki Vec system's primary. The charged plasma fields extends into the atmosphere of these gas giants, and the unique environment serves as a breeding ground for a large number of spacefaring organisms. These organisms are all minuscule, with one notable exception, the massive Tianki. The system must be where they originally evolved hundreds of millions of years ago, before they range deeper into the galaxy. Given their extremely rare properties of this system, plasma field is likely the only place in the galaxy where the Tianki can reproduce, or could have reproduced. They count anymore. Technology discovered. More ships coming in. Good, good, good. This is a synaptic sustainer. Sure, we'll get that one too. Why not? I'll uh, grab this. The greater good, giving me government ethics attraction and crime reduction. Uh, I am almost maxed out here. Let's do the thing where I can do two relics. And let's go to relics. And activate you, I think. Oh, I don't have the, uh, the minerals for that. That's okay. Get this, and then we'll do military applications, and we'll do uh, armor damage. That's great. May also do... Um, some edicts. What am I mass producing here? A lot of exotic gases and rare crystals. So is there anything in the gases and rare crystals? Shield boost could be good, so let's do that. And uh, rare crystals is focusing crystals. That's energy weapon damage. I don't think we have a ton of energy weapons, but I'll click it anyhow. We'll put those on. My fleets are close to being full. Ruby Sufet is not. System People surveyed. seem pretty full. Is this coming along? You're building your second shipyard now. Okay, that'll System help a lot. Started. Building ships here instead of elsewhere. Um. Sure. We'll do this. Where is that fleet here? They're only a 10k fleet. Well, it's not great, but 
They can serve as the vanguard of our uh, fleet. We have received intelligence reports, significant fleet movements within the Lishan Commonwealth. They seem to be centered on the Alpen Parway system, especially close to our border. What are the Lishians up to? Okay. Incoming transmission. They want association status? No. All right. Let's take the Pilgrims and. You three, I think. We will head out of here. Is that enough? New technology discovered. You two are waiting for reinforcements. Let's take the Celestine as well. The rest of these will sit here leveling up and getting their reinforcements. As needed. There we go. And you are not quite done upgrading, that's fine. Let's have you all go through here. Engaging hostile fleets. Perfect. Well, that one's clear. Let's come down. This is 300k. What do I have? Not quite 300k. It's 200k. And a ton. Okay, let's come down this way. Had a bunch of ships come through, and this intel might be old. Yeah, this is only 200k and not 300k. Hopefully, we can blow up these fleets. Seem to be okay. Good. Evading hostiles. Alright, so that settles that. So let's take all of this and head over here. Research vessel needs assistance. And uh, we will start upgrading these fleets as needed. Now I need these okay no problem i can sell off a bunch of stuff like that i can sell off some food for sure definitely some of this stuff and then just buy buckets of this that's good Grab these fleets to upgrade these. No shipyard to build fleet. Interesting. What kind of tech did we get? We got the neutron launchers and the battleship hull points. It sounds wonderful. Let's get sapient AI and uh, Gauss cannons. And in the next episode, we will continue to fight back the hordes and uh, over here, the gray eminence. We have knocked out three other systems. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six left to go until this is all safe. And then we got, I think there's a couple of scraggly uh, fleets left on the main map. But generally, I think we're doing just fine. It's only the one fleet over here, so I'm not particularly worried about it. I think you are done altogether, so I'm just going to move you over here. Yeah, so see you in the next episode. Join the series, like, and subscribe, and have a great day. Bye-bye.